Welcome everyone to uh, another one of my Photoshop tutorials. Today what we're going to cover is I'm going to be using Adobe CS6 Extended 64-bit. Uh, anyway, what I'm going to show you how to do today is I'm going to show you how to do a little bit of a text animation using the video timeline in uh, Adobe Photoshop CS6 64-bit. Or see, it'll work in CS6. I think it's a CS5 too, but anyway, I'm using CS6. So what we're going to do is show you, show you how to do, uh, I'm going to use a liquify filter. And it's really simple, it's only going to be about 6 frames. decided to do a quick one today. But to start off, what you do is, we new file. You have to use the, um, you have to go down here to the, uh, you have to select from the filming video. Now, what it is they got a preset for NTSC, NTSC DV. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do a, uh, I'm going to set this to 640 by 360, which is something you can uh, put in your uh, your Google uh, cover, Google cover on your uh, Google profile. So that's some of the stuff I do. Anyway. So we're going to set to 640 by 360. Now you got to remember, we have, you have to choose a custom. And it has to be, you know, a film and video type of uh, template. So anyway, we got that done. And it'll give you a little warning there. Uh, one of the first things you have to do is, once you get your document set up for film, film and video, is uh, what you want to do is you can go down to Windows, select your timeline, and you want to create frame animation. You click on Create Frame Animation. And uh, then... It's also helpful to have your layers open because this is, uh, it gets just a little bit confusing, but if you get both these tabs open, you can uh, see what's going on. So what I've done, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it, I'm going to make it kind of short. I find the shortest way to do this. I'm going to type in some text here on my canvas, and we're going to put, uh, I'm just going to put, I'm feeling dizzy. And we're going to put that in the center, like so with the exclamation point. So we got this in the center here. And of course if you control click you can center it up, make sure it's nice and centered there. And you go back to your text, shift alt, drag out and you get it a little bigger, like so hit enter. Okay. So what you have to do first is before you can use look by look with five filter on this text and animate it is you have to rasterize it. So what we're gonna do is go up here to layer Go rasterize type. Now you got your type uh, rasterize. Okay. Now from here, what you have to do, you have to go up to your layer, and you create a new blank video layer like so. All right. So now you go back down to your text. You hit Control A, Control C to copy, and then you hit Control V and put this in your blank video layer like so. Alright, you can get rid of this, you can just throw it in the trash there. Now we've got the rasterized text on our video layer. Okay, what we do next here, let me see if I got this, I went through this a couple times. Okay, you want to do uh, get on your layer, your video layer, that's what you're going to be working on. Uh, not, not the background. But you want to go in and you just say video layers, you say duplicate frame. I wish there were a shortcut key for this, you could probably program it. And I'm going to do six frames, so we just go up here and we just do this again. Duplicate frame. And of course, to see the individual frames, you have to stretch out, resize your uh, your video timeline down here. So we're going to hit it again. We're going to do a duplicate frame again. And duplicate frame again. And duplicate the frame again. And we'll just do it one more time. I believe that's six. I believe we already got six, but we'll just duplicate one more time. Okay. So now we've got five duplicate frames. And also, you need to turn on your onion skinning so you can see exactly what's going on. So to turn on the onion skinning, you go up to the video timeline, you click down on this, and you enable onion skinning. Okay. All right, we got that accomplished. So we got six duplicate frames. And we go to our first frame. And we go up to the filter here, the liquify with the ellipsis. And we go in here and we just kind of uh, mess it up. Hit OK. 
Now we go to our next frame. Now you see our previous frame, you can see how the onion scan it shows how you distorted the text in the previous frame. So what we go up here, we just go up to the liquid file where you have the ellipsis, which means you can do more. If you just hit Control F, it will simply repeat the previous liquidation. So I'm going to do it like this and hit OK. Alright, so we move to the next frame and you can see the previous distortion. So we're going to do it again. Uh, go up to uh, liquify and push things around. Really mess it up. And we go again. We move up to the next frame and as you can tell, this is just a repetitive operation. That's why I'm only making six frames here. I don't want to make it too complicated. Now, of course, I'm only using one color here. So I haven't really experimented with the other filters, the oil paint and whatever. But if you want to make some uh, text that's got several colors in it, you can, I suggest that you can experiment with some of the other filters. But for this example, I'm just going to uh, use the liquefier. I thought it was kind of fun. I'm going to do this again. Okay. Now I believe this is our last frame. Or maybe it is. I think I made seven. But we'll go up here and we'll do it again. As I say, you can use these other filters, but since I'm only using one color, I'm not sure if there would be any real significant effect. Okay, we got one more. So we did do, it's going to come out to six, so we'll just do them all, however many I made. Uh, oh, it looks like we applied another filter there. Okay, well, we'll cancel that. We'll go back. We'll go back to our liquefier. It looks like I accidentally applied another filter and it added some features to it, but that's okay. So that's it. So we've gotten our all our frames distorted, including the first one. Now what you want to do is you want to clip down. You only got so many frames here, so you don't want this whole uh, whole timeline to play. So you you can resize your timeline and get it down here, like so. And you can just hover over this and drag this down and it should snap to your last frame, like so. And so you can hit uh, your space bar to check it out. And of course we can uh, turn off the onion skin. I'm not using that anymore. And you can see the effect of it. Now what you want to do with this, uh, you want to do it as a... Uh, a animated GIF, so we'll stop it right there. What you can do is you go down here and you save the web. And uh, you can actually do a preview here. Decide whether you want it to loop once or forever or three times or whatever. We're going to do forever. We can preview it. Okay, it's working now. We stop it, save it. And I'm going to just save it to a desktop. I previously made one here. So I'm going to save it under the same name, just I'm feeling dizzy. It's a, it's a GIF file. We'll call it that. Okay. And we'll replace that one. Now, uh, if you want to keep this file in original PSD, you can go up here, which is always good practice if you're doing this for money. And you might want to just save it to your desktop temporarily. Just call it. Also, I'm feeling dizzy. Now, PSD. It already exists. I worked on one previously. So we'll save it there. Now we can uh, close this out. Now, another thing you can do, once you save this as a GIF, you can go back and open it up and we get the I'm feeling dizzy gif right here open it up if you don't like uh, I believe the uh, the default is uh, default <coughs> delay is zero hit the bar, such bar space bar and you can play it and I notice here you got some extra frames so we can get rid of those uh, that, and we got some extra frames there now what you can do here, is you can set the delay for each frame. Uh, let's say we want to set the same delay for all frames. So you can go over to your corner of your video timeline, and you select all frames. Then you go underneath in any one of these that are in blue. And I'm going to select, uh, I'm going to say 0.5 seconds. And now you hit enter, and it's slowed down a little bit. Now say you don't like that, you stop it. You go up here, select all frames. Maybe do two tenths of a second and preview that. So that way you can do, and actually you can go back to your zero. But anyway, I'm going to save this one at two tenths of a second delay on each frame. We only got a little seven frames there, a little short animation, and uh, 
you could actually put this in your Google profile and your, your cover graphic or wherever you want it. Uh, you can actually, uh, when you're making the original file, you can go down and you can crop it and make it any size you want. So anyway, that's it for how to make uh, liquefied text using the video timeline and onion scanning. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll be doing more videos in the future. So uh, have a great day and we'll see you guys later. I'm out of here.